Welcome to part three of my RSV baby story. I am Cindy Rubin. I am a breastfeeding medicine doc and fourth trimester care doc in the Chicagoland area. So I was very, very close. Basically was telling the family that I think your baby's going to need to go into the hospital. We were on, I believe, day three-ish and baby's breathing was getting worse, wasn't really nursing quite as well. There were a number of things that had me very worried, and it was the weekend as well. Now, I have the luxury, because I'm a fourth trimester doc, I mean, yeah, I prefer to not always have to work on the weekends, but this is what I do, and I am here for my patients on the weekends when they need it. And it doesn't happen very often, but this baby was sick on the weekend, and I was able to go visit them one more time, check their oxygen level again, watch them nurse in person, and we gave the baby a bath, did lots of suctioning, everything that we could possibly do to help this baby improve. And they did. They started nursing better. They just turned the corner right then and there. You could kind of see it. Started even smiling a little bit and just looking so much better. And if I had been in my old traditional sort of pediatrics office on a Friday afternoon with that baby, absolutely I would have been admitting them because I wouldn't have known whether or not they could get good follow-up. Our office wasn't open on the weekend and you know, who's going to really be able to compare the baby and, and do the kind of follow-up that's necessary to really be able to triage this baby virtually or on the phone with phone calls over the weekend. And so I would have admitted this baby. But because they were my patient in my fourth trimester package, I was able to divert from an admission to this baby staying at home, cozy, safe with their parents, and safe with very close monitoring from their pediatrician. And we did not have to send them to the hospital. That makes me feel so good as a physician, as a breastfeeding doc. This baby, if they had gone to the hospital, might have picked up the flu or picked up COVID or some other virus even and gotten even worse. And the family was able to stay home with them, continue to breastfeed on demand, all of the things that come with not having to go to the hospital and get admitted. So if this is the kind of care that you are looking for, please call us today. We have spots open, a few, couple of spots over the next couple of months. So please call us, schedule a meet and greet. That is how you kind of get started on the registration routine to make sure that we're a good fit and get your spot reserved for when your baby is born. Have a wonderful day.